So why vitamin B1 deficiency causes the brain damage? Vitamin B1 or thiamine is a source of energy generation in the metabolic pathways of glycolysis and TCA cycle. For the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA in glycolytic pathway, the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase requires thymine. And for the conversion of alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA requires thymine. So these are the three enzymes which require thymine, pyruvate dehydrogenase in the glycolysis, the alpha-ketoglutarate TCA cycle, and the in the pentose phosphate pathway transketolase enzyme requires thymine a deficiency of transketolase uh, thymine causes abnormal production of myelin sheet the two enzymes pyruvate dehydrogenase and alpha ketoglutarate are identical they are in an enzyme complex which consists of thymine pyrophosphate lipoate and FAD. Both these reactions yield carbon dioxide and NADH. So pyruvate from the cytosol enters into the mitochondrion and is converted to acetyl-CoA. NAD is converted to NADH and this is under the influence of the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase. Pyruvate dehydrogenase occur in two forms, active and inactive form. The inactive form is converted to an active form by phosphatase and this requires requires magnesium and calcium ion for its action. So phosphatase converts inactive pyruvate dehydrogenase to an active form and kinase converts active pyruvate dehydrogenase to an inactive form. What happens normally that when pyruvate is formed it is converted to acetyl-CoA and that joins heat oxidation to form fatty acid synthesis or it may join TCA cycle to produce energy or it may form acetylcholine by combining with Choline. When thymine is deficient, pyruvate is not converted to acetyl-CoA. Instead, pyruvate is converted to lactate. So any, any efforts to infuse glucose in these patients will produce more and more lactic acidosis and worsen the condition. The second enzyme, the alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase that converts alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA in the mitochondria in TCA cycle and it also provides the energy to the cells. In case of thymine deficiency, the alpha-ketoglutarate accumulates and excess is converted by translamination reaction to glutamate. So the excess glutamate accumulates and this may give rise to free radical production that leads to the cell death or it may cause neurotoxicity. Or number two, this glutamate is converted to GABA which is the inhibitory neurotransmitter and it also causes neurotoxicity. GABA is then joined the TCA cycle by converting in succinate. Glutamate is either converted to when there is a deficiency of thymine, the alpha ketoglutarate is converted to glutamate and glutamate is converted either to glutamine or GABA under the action of the enzyme glutamate decarboxylase which is found in the neuron. The conversion of glutamate to GABA requires pyridoxin phosphate or vitamin B6. That is why in a deficiency of vitamin B6 there occur seizures. The third enzyme that does not act in a thymine deficiency is the transketolase enzyme in the pentose phosphate pathway or the shunt pathway. The deficiency of thymine here causes reduced or abnormal myelin synthesis, a defect in the lipid glucose metabolism and a branch chain amino acid production. The transketolase and transcellulase are the two enzymes that connect the shunt pathway to the glycolytic pathway by producing G3P and fructose 6-phosphate which are the intermediates of the glycolytic pathway. The shunt pathway produces ribose 5-phosphate or that forms a nucleic acid and it also produces NADPH, the reduced form of NADP which is required for the synthesis of steroids, fatty acids, amino acids, neurotransmitters and is also required for the production of reduced Reduced glutathion. The transketolase converts cellulose 5-phosphate and ribose 5-phosphate to G3P and pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate. Amine acts as a coenzyme and magnesium is required as a cofactor for the functioning of transketolase. And the second reaction 
transketolase inverts xylose 5 phosphate and erythrose 4 phosphate to G3P and fructose 6 phosphate. In the next reaction, penseldolase, which does not require thymine, converts G3P and pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate and erythrose 4-phosphate. Erythrose 4-phosphate combines with xylose 5-phosphate to give fructose 6-phosphate and G3P. The red cell transketolate activity is reduced in the deficiency of thymine and may be used in the diagnosis of Wernicke's encephalopathy and other B1 deficiency syndrome if the diagnosis is in doubt. Apart from the baseline enzyme activity, which may be normal even in deficiency states, acceleration of enzyme activity after the addition of thymine prophosphate may be diagnostic of thymine deficiency. The lab diagnosis of thymine deficiency. Number 1. Enzymatic assay of transketolate activity measured before and after the administration of thymine. More than 25% stimulation by the addition of thymine is taken as abnormal. Number 2. High performance liquid chromatography. Number 3. Urinary thymine of less than 27 microgram per gram of creatinine per day is abnormal. And last one. Diuretics increase the B1 excretion.